that's a very simplistic conclusion. Possible. It is a possibility, but not necessarily so. Genius means… The word genius comes from the word genesis, a genu means creation or creativity or the source of creation. So, a genius means somehow he touched the source of creation, unknowingly or knowingly. Either you can become consciously more towards being a genius or unconsciously a genius. When I say I'm consciously becoming a genius, you can say a Beethoven is an unconscious genius. He doesn't know why he's a musician, but he is deaf of hearing, but still music flows because you don't become a musician because you have a great voice, because you have a great sense of hearing. That's how you become a musician. So somebody who cannot even hear becomes a musician. This is an unconscious genius. Maybe because he could not hear the normal sounds, he paid attention to something else. You have heard yogis speaking about how if you become meditative, first you will hear a bell, then you will hear a harp, then you will hear some, some other music. You heard these stories? So, because everything was… To, you know, he's tone deaf, he cannot hear any external sound, maybe he started listening to something else and sounds formed themselves into whatever, became a great musician. So, this is an unconscious genius, probably, we cannot make the judgment, probably. But you never know, maybe he was conscious, because he's in Europe, he could never talk those things. So, maybe he only spilled out the music and never managed to speak, because it's not allowed to be spoken in a particular society. If he was in India, he could blabber whatever he wanted, you know, because a safety net. <laughs> no, it's very important. If spiritual dimensions have to really evolve in a society, that freedom should be there. Their crazies will come, loonies will come, but sages will come too. You heard of the mathematician Ramanujan? On his deathbed, he wrote a theorem. There are many others before that. But on his deathbed, he wrote a theorem. After hundred years, only in 2010, I think, they figured it out that this theorem describes the black holes in the universe. One hundred years ago, even the concept of black hole did not exist in the scientific community. But he made a mathematical calculation for the black hole, describing black hole through mathematics. Because unless any theory that you make, unless you have a mathematical backbone, that theory is discarded. But now he did not have a theory, he just made a mathematical backbone. And he said, I don't know what this is, my Devi gave it to me. Like in yoga center, we have a linga bhairavi. Like this sun deity consecrated window into the creation. So all these deities are actually doorways into the limitless possibility. If you know how to, how to open the doorway, this becomes a limitless possibility. For him, it all became mathematics. For somebody, it might have become music. With somebody else, it becomes something else. Or if you are consciously approaching it, you can make it what you wish. Whatever you wish, you can make out of it. Unconsciously, if you get there, it may become one dimension of the universe. So mathematics did not get invented in your classroom. Do not curse your math teacher. It is the nature of the universe. This is the only way the nature of the universe can be translated into human experience and one of the reasonably efficient ways to do this is mathematics. Words would be total waste. The only efficient way to do it is to imbibe the universe as a part of yourself. That's what yoga means. Yoga means it's become one, everything is in union.
That's the only way you can truly know it. Mathematics is a reasonably good way to interpret it. So, a genius might have happened due to many reasons, but it is not necessarily that in his previous life, Ramanujam was a mathematician, a Beethoven was a musician, not necessary. There might have been something else. Definitely there was… they were something of some consequence, okay? Definitely they were of some evolution of state within themselves. That might have manifested as music or math or something else in this life but it is not necessary that they must have been musicians or mathematicians. It is just that somehow they opened a window or a door. Because of that, one dimension of life became simply apparent.